Welcome back. It's 824. Even though it's the holiday season, not everyone is feeling jolly or excited this time of year. In fact, recent studies have shown that depression and anxiety can hit an all time high. So joining us this morning to explain more about the region is the regional managing director at Behavioral Health Center, Dr. Allison Chase. Dr. Chase, thanks for being with us sure. this morning. I, this time of year can be really hard for some people. It can be. We see um, a rise in depression and anxiety. It's such a tough time of year. There's so many expectations that are set oh, out. Yeah. You know, you, anywhere you look, from the movies that they show, from the commercials that mm -hmm. are out there, right? So I, all I the think, presents. I think <laughs> it becomes so difficult. There are all these ideas about what it's supposed to be like, mm -hmm. and you know, financial concerns are very real too, as well as all of the other pieces of. of expectations that are set up, which is really hard. So what are some of the signs and symptoms you'd look for in people experiencing holiday depression, holiday anxiety? struggles? Well, you definitely want to look for change in behavior. Mm -hmm. So that would be eating behaviors. If, if there's a significant change, sleeping, mm -hmm. sleeping more, sleeping less, either of them. Also just changes in how much you're attending to your job or school or mm -hmm. social activities. And physical symptoms also. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes stomach aches, headaches increase, we see irritability, um, mm -hmm. all of those kind of signs. If anyone notices a change, they really want to be thinking about, you know, am I, am I struggling? Or if you see it in a loved one. And if it's getting too much, you want to seek help because it's only going to continue through the holiday season. Mm -hmm. And a lot of these are issues that we're talking about in adults, but do you see kids feeling anxious or stressed this time of year? Yeah, very much so. Mm -hmm. The same expectations that the adults feel, the kids oh, are feeling as well. Kids. I know, right? <laughs> so it's just so important for parents to be clued in mm -hmm. to the struggles for kids as well and to watch for all of these same signs for them. And if they need help, they should get it. And it's also really important to set out What's realistic? Mm -hmm. What's what do I really want my holiday mm -hmm. season to look like? You know, maybe learn to tolerate the fact that you might not have quite the, the movie experience <laughs> that you <laughs> that you see that comes it's out. It's not this always time a year. lifetime movie. It is not <laughs> right. So so and and to realize that mm -hmm. and kind of set up those expectations mm -hmm. so you can have a fulfilling holiday, not filled with all the increased stress mm -hmm. and anxiety and often depression. Mm -hmm. Are there any other practical tips that you give patients? Yeah, I mean just the the setting expectations is really clear and taking care of yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, it's okay to say no to outings or things or additional parties or activities. It's also important the more you can keep to your routine, the best that you can, um, it helps so much. And other parts of self-care, right? Working on taking some time just to do things like have some calm and quiet, which are so unusual yeah. this time of year. Oh yeah, definitely. So good things to keep in mind. Keep those in mind. Yes, for <laughs> in sure. In the midst of your holiday shopping <laughs> if you're heading out today. Well, thanks yes. so much, Dr. Thank Chase. Thank you. We appreciate you being here today. And here at KXAM, we're committed to helping you learn about your health along with our partner, the American Heart Association. So for resources and easy tips to live healthier, head to KXAM.com and click on Simple Health.